what Facebook advertisers don't want you to know. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. I feel like I need like a dun dun in there, right? Because uh, I want to talk to you today about a few things that Facebook advertisers don't want you to know, okay? But look, rest assured, it's not all this uh, craziness like in the great hack where all the information that's being stored about you, that's not what we don't want you to know, right? And I'm speaking here as a Facebook advertiser myself. Now, there's a few things that I find the industry doesn't want to share, don't want business owners just like you to know, and there's reasons for that. So, you know, like why don't they want you to know certain things? For me, the big part is that anything where there is money to be made, if you create mystery, if you create intrigue, if you create complexity around it, it means that there's more money to be made. Like, oh, you want to go and set up your own ads? Oh, oh, craziness, pixels. Oh, oh, that's going to be hard. Oh, CPC, CPA, CTR, ROAS. Right, it's going to throw all these terms out there, make it complex. Right, and yes, there are complexities to it. And of course, it helps when you have experts in your corner to help you out with it. However, the big the biggest, I would say, you know, like thing that Facebook advertisers don't want you to know is that there's only three parts ever to a successful advertising campaign across any platform, right? This is some nuggets for you guys right now, golden nuggets, right? Number one is that you need, or like, or I'll give you all three of them and then I'll break them down. This the NOC method, which we talk about so much on these videos. So if you haven't, go watch every single video and you'll hear me talk about it. Right? But if you think about it, there's only three components that make any advertising campaign successful. Number one is niche, which is knowing who your audience is that you're talking to. Number two is offer, which is identifying and creating an irresistible offer so that people can actually see what it is that you do. They're enticed enough to do it and then they take action upon it. And then number three is copy, which is salesmanship in print, which is where they talk about, okay, cool, let me write something for you that articulates what my offer is to the ideal audience and then you take action upon it. That is the NOC method. The big mystery around advertising is that people don't want you to know that it's that simple, right? And it's, it's simple, but not easy, which is the catch, right? There's always a catch, no such thing as a free lunch. There's always a catch. The catch is that yes, if you can identify those three components, it will make your life so much easier. It will make everything simple, easy to overcome, and you ain't gonna have no problems. However, it's about the application of that, which is the hardest part, which is what people don't want you to know. They're like, oh, it's impossible for you to go and do it yourself. You're never gonna be able to do it as good as me. No, if you can do the foundational pieces, regardless if you work with an advertiser, if you learn how to do it yourself or anything else, you are gonna be so much more empowered to make accurate business-based decisions than anyone else. And that's what we want for you here at Your Social Voice, if you'd be able to understand that, because a lot of advertisers want you to feel that it's super complex. And look, the way that Facebook works can be, right? They have over 1 million points of data, you know, I think it's Cambridge Analytica, right? They have uh, 1 million points of data on every single piece, and uh, so every single person that exists, which means we can be pretty targeted with our advertising. And that is complex and complicated in the way that's stored, formatted, put out for advertisers. But if you can think of, and that's what, like I said, if you can just think of that foundational piece, the NOC method, your niche offer copy, you're going to be on the right track. You're going to be on you know, the right foundations. You're going to be pushing towards reaching your right and most ideal goal that you have for your business. So that's number one, why, you know, why Facebook advertisers kind of keep these little secrets away from you and why they don't want you to know that. Because it's like, well, if I can make it seem overly complex, there's a, there's a lot of ways for me to make money, right? There's so, that's, that's so much the case across, across the broad spectrum, broad spectrum of things. Number two, right, so that's number one thing. Number two is that you should have access and you should see your data at all times, right? This is not something that a lot of people don't want you to know, but if you're paying for something, I believe you should have access, you should see it, you should be able to consume it, you should be able to check in and measure it. Now, don't go touching, playing with things. If you've got someone helping you, don't go messing with their stuff, but you should be able to log in and see, cool, how much traffic am I getting, my conversions, right? Things like that as well. You should be able to go in and look at that, but you need to understand it, right? You need to understand what you're looking at, which is why I'm, like, I'm, I'm so pleased that you're watching this video because a lot of people will go and they'll, like, they'll outsource straight away, but they don't know how to understand, measure, test, look at all the different key aspects of their business. And I'm like, guys, WTF mate, what's going on? 
Like you need to know to be able to look at this similar to, you know, if you're growing your business, you can't just outsource every aspect. You don't have to know how to do it, you just have to know how to lead it. That's all you have to do. And as long as you can do that, great success, happy days, you're gonna be on the right track. So how can you overcome some of these things? How can you overcome the secrets that Facebook advertisers don't want you to know? Well, number one is education. You do need to make sure that you educate yourself consistently, you stay on top of learning, you keep abreast of what's happening. Like I, I did a great uh, podcast interview with a gentleman by the name of Brian Kurtz, who's like one of the godfathers of direct mail. He's like the oldest in the industry, knows everyone. Not old in age, Brian, if you're watching, but uh, like he just has the history of uh, growing businesses in direct mail, direct response marketing and things like that. And um, like he, when I did a podcast with him, he kind of broke it all down for me. It's like, look, the, uh, the key area in your business that you should always at least have like one hand on or you should always be kind of peeking over the shoulder of is your marketing. He said, hands down. Everything else you can kind of let move, shift, you can like expand and extrapolate yourself out of those things. But he's like, always have your hand on the market because it's the biggest representation of your business as you're going through it. And you need to be in touch with that. You need to know what's going on, you need to be, but you also need to be able to give insights because you know your business better than anyone else. Regardless of any business analyst or anything like that, you're in your business every day. You have the best understanding of how it works, your consumers, your clients, your customers, your employees, your team, you know. So it allows you to have a better conversation with people around the growth of your business if you know what's going on and you can give feedback, insights, input and go, oh, what about if we, like I can do a video like this because my customers have been talking about it, would that help my marketing? Would that help my advertising? I've been seeing this, it really engages me as someone who's in this industry, could we um, implement something like this alongside what we're doing? Can we add in this, can we do this? It allows you to have a better conversation, which is what we want you to be able to have. That's why I did this video, that's what I wanted to share with you, so that you can understand, cool, um, like they're not trying to screw me over by keeping these secrets from me, but here are some of the things I need to have in place so that I can, I can better get the best use out of my Facebook advertising team, right? That's my goal for you. And again, if you need help on our side, if you want more education, training, head over to www.freeusb.com.au. We're gonna talk you there that can help you hit success as well. So to recap on that, right, is number one, it can be simple, but it's not easy, but you need to understand your niche offer copy. Number two is you need to understand what things look like, sound like, taste like, feel like inside of that. And then number three, right, you really do need to always have a hand on your marketing at some point in time, right? Touch it, be in touch with it, um, and then that's how your business will grow and be successful, all right? Now guys, if you did like this video, please give me a little thumbs up, let me know you enjoyed it, drop a comment into the comment box and let me know if you like this video, if there's anything else you would like me to record for you specifically, so I can help you guys in your businesses and in your Facebook advertising and marketing. And please make sure that you subscribe, turn on the little bing, little bell, make sure that you get the notification before anyone else, because we want to help you grow your business. We want to help you focus on serving your customers so you can do what you do best. Till next time, I'm Kim Barrett. Y'all been awesome. Adios.